the first story of which is something we'll also talk about when we're talking about the the stuff on the shows themselves. But that is TNA bringing in Lex Luger. Sure. So this was not long removed from the death of Miss Elizabeth, who was living with Lex Luger at the time when Lex Luger was being investigated for potential murder. And it, it was quite controversial. People were not entirely pleased. Like on, on May 1st, 2003, Elizabeth died in their, ta- their townhouse they shared in Marietta after mixing pills of hydrocodone and alprozomax with vodka. Luger was arrested after a search of the residence revealed a number of illicit controlled substances, including anabolic steroids, oxycodone, oxycodone synthetic road hormone, testosterone, and alprazolam. Not a drug name, so I can't pronounce drug names. He was charged with 13 fel- felony counts of drug possession, released the following day. But Miss Elizabeth's death was eventually ruled an accidental death. But this was right in the height of the, the aftermath of that. So TNA was considered quite controversial to actually bring in Lex Luger. Not exactly a peak time. And, it, you know, because it just always feels like, hey, we're going to try and profit off this news story, this horrific event, which is never a good look. Yeah, and by all accounts, WWE did a, a, a lot of weird like coverage of this because Luger's 911 call was played over and over again on WWE Confidential. That's insane. <laughs> and, and, yeah, when you think about what modern WWE is and then to think they were playing the 911 call on one of their internet shows, it's mad back in 2003, a different world. Yeah, um, I don't know much about this. Yeah, and headlines were shown sensationally during WWE TV insinuating Liz's death may have been the result of a suicide or homicide long after authorities had ruled that out. So there was a bunch of stuff like that. What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, it would be very strange and bad company. But I, 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 I'm with you. I'm the last person. I can't really speak authoritatively to the death of Miss Elizabeth or the circumstances around that. So I, I will leave that to other people. I will simply suggest that, not even suggest, I will say that there was a great, great deal of controversy around their decision to book Lex Luger in a tag team match. It was him and Jeff Jarrett against AJ Styles and Sting for the main event of the second show of the month. So... They they decided to bring in Lex Luger, and it, it created so much controversy that, like, for the first time, I think in TNA history, Dixie Carter actually released a statement about it. I don't feel like it would be appropriate for me to read this statement in her voice, so I will I will bow out from this one. We will wait until the next Dixie press release in order to... Yeah, until there's a more fun one. So Dixie's full statement, It is rare that TNA ever responds to media, no matter how off it may be from the fact... But we strongly believe it is appropriate at this time to address what is being said about Lex Luger appearing on our November 12th pay-per-view telecast. TNA is about opportunity for wrestlers new and established. For the fans, TNA provides a weekly program that showcases today's hottest talent, introduces the stars of tomorrow, and provides the opportunity to re-experience wrestling icons. Since its inception, TNA has paid homage to the NWA legends who have laid the foundation for the company. As far as TNA is considered, we could not be more proud of our entire roster who give their heart and soul week after week to build this special group. We believe in being compassionate and giving guys a chance, from new, incredibly talented young men to veterans who may need lifting up when trying to change their lives. Surrounding a man with the kind of environment we enjoy backstage at TNA can only be considered a good thing. We are about accentuating the positive, not the negative. Literally ripping the Paul Heyman quote out there. When our talent approaches management and recommends giving someone an opportunity, we listen. And that is the case with Lex Luger as well as others. The success of bringing Lex to TNA won't be measured with pay-per-view buys, then what's the point of booking him? It will be measured by what a man does with an opportunity given. As a company, if any talent becomes a negative force in the locker room, then they are no longer welcome to be part of our team. And that has been proven on occasion and will continue to be our manner of operation. The Ultimate X match, Raven's Clockwork Orange House of Fun, and the current X Triple Chance Tournament are the kinds of things created to generate buzz and increase buys for TNA because it's outstanding wrestling in a unique format. Really? About the Triple Chance X Division? All right. <laughs> but to take advantage of a difficult point in someone's life is not practice of our company. Our philosophy may be uncommon in the wrestling business, but our goal is to create a different kind of company inside the ring and out. Okay, so my uh, first half of that statement is complete nothing, so you can ignore that. Second half of it's pretty eye rolly, like talking about your wonderful backstage environment, mm. which we just know isn't true <laughs> at yeah. this point. 
Like we've we've read over what's happened backstage in Tina over the last year. We know what things will take place over the, the rest of the history of the company. But I also get the point. But then the thing that you have to like realize here is that's not the point people are trying to make with this either. They're not mm. saying you can't bring people in and give them second chances. They're saying don't do it in the middle of the story. Yeah. Like, if you had have waited and there was more time and people had come to the conclusions that they came to eventually, like, sh- sure, like, you can do sort of something like this. But to do it in that moment with everything still going on, it's just, it's grimy. Yeah, it's still incredibly raw. As mentioned, Elizabeth died in May. This show took place in November. That's only six months after a pretty large tragedy that people are still dealing with and processing and grieving over and maybe have mixed feelings about the the other people involved in. So to to book them and then be like, listen, we're just we're trying to rehabilitate them is yeah, it's it's just it's the again, it's the wrong side of exploitative that makes it feel a little sleazy. Yeah, it's uh, and which is like why that is a frustrating uh, statement. But also, what do you expect to say? <laughs> Mm, yeah, uh, it's like, no, sorry, guys, you're right. But it's always the case with companies. They're never like, oh, sorry, guys, you're right. It's always like, no, 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 listen, listen, listen. We're doing the right thing here. Mm. Dixie does allude to it in that quote that she does give people chances that are recommended to them. There's a reason they booked Lex, Lex Luger. He was recommended to them by Sting. I had assumed it was Sting's recommendation. So from Dave Meltzer and the Wrestling Observer, it was a big shock to almost everyone that Lex Luger was being brought in for the November 12th pay-per-view in a tag team match with Jarrett versus Styles and Sting. This was almost 100% Sting's doing. Sting strongly asked for the favor but didn't demand it. Sting wanted to help Luger as the two have a long history together to the point that he arranged his flight from Los Angeles to Atlanta instead of Nashville so he could pick Luger up and drive with him to the show. The original plan was for Abyss to be in the Luger slot but obviously once they booked Luger, they put Luger in there instead. Hmm. There was there was a lot more like playing the man, not the ball stuff involved in this as well, where there was a lot of like, oh, this is uh, disrespectful to the people who helped build NWA TNA. It's like, fuck off with that, really, though. Yeah, who cares about that? Because <laughs> like the core of this company has always been an element of, well, it's surprises, it's freaking Perry Saturn showing up, it's Roddy Piper showing up, it's Sting showing up. We're literally in the midst of two months of Hulk Hogan not coming to the company and the company bending over backwards to try and appeal and banner to Hulk Hogan. The Road Warriors showing up, David Flair showing up. This company was built on this idea that anyone can show up at any time. Yeah, so like the whole idea of NWA TNA over the, the nearly a year and a half we've covered it so far has been people showing up as surprises. So like you might not like Lex Luger, you might not like the circumstances around Lex Luger. Don't sit in your high horse and pretend it's like, oh, it's a slap into the face to the young guys who are building the company, that it's a show of non-confidence in those people. It's like, no, it's not. Go away. This is the longest plane being flying over me that I've ever heard in my life. It's been going on for like a minute. Is it just circling your house? I can still hear it. Is it like Liam's recording a podcast? Let's let's just fly <laughs> a plane around his house in circles. Yeah, maybe it's a drone that's like listening in. Trying to get the podcast early. It's like, oh, this podcast has already been late enough as it is. We need to get the early you've got to be kidding me scoops. Maybe it's suit. He knew. He's like, I want to know what's going on in the podcast. I want to know what they're saying about me. My suit senses are tingling. <laughs> we'll talk more about this Lex Luger story when we get to the actual stuff in the shows themselves and whether or not Luger was any good and what the, the, the bill to him having the match was itself. But needless to say, one of the bigger controversies in TNA history, the Dixie Carter actually released a statement for the first time in TNA history about this. One of the biggest controversies in TNA history so far. Well, yes. <laughs> Uh, it it will be lapped at some point. 